This WBTV high definition program is sponsored by Time Warner Cable. WBTV News at 6 starts right now. And you can see why the name of this creek is causing such a controversy in Union County. Good to have you inside with us. I'm Maureen O'Boyle. And I'm Paul Cameron. Welcome. Almost 30 years ago, leaders in Union County agreed to change the name to Salem Creek. But apparently not everyone with the state and federal government got that memo. WBTV Steve Crump on your side. He's live from Union County Courthouse in Monroe tonight. Steve, I know you covered this story 27 years ago. It was supposed to change the name, so what in the world happened? Paul, I can tell you somebody obviously dropped the ball. I remember standing in this very spot back in January of 1985 talking about the changes that would be on the way, but apparently in many ways, well, it's back to square one. January 8th, 85. After discussion, workers at the Union County Planning Office are revisiting a controversial mapping issue that should have been taken care of decades ago. Full surveys corrected. The Turnpike Authority's, you know, Monroe Bypass maps are correct. But then I found a, a map on my wall that still had, you know, the offensive term. The offensive term. The very offensive term. Planning Director Richard Black is attempting to right a wrong over the name of a local tributary once known as Negro Head Creek. How does that happen and what can we do to make sure it doesn't happen again? By all appearances, what's now known in most circles of Salem Creek is serene and quiet, but back in 1985, county commissioners unanimously asked the federal government to change the name. The feds agreed to. It still shows up on maps that were made later and online in a U.S. Geological Survey report we shared with Union County residents. That's awful. That's offensive. I mean, we should be over stuff like that today, you know? I grew up in the uh, early 60s. Franklin Deese is the only African-American mayor in Union County. He represents Marshville and grew up near the tributary. 27 years later, after the government says no, and it's still like that. that, that's when it becomes offensive. County planners are asking the USGS to revisit the issue. It still is appearing in, in various publications with the not corrected name, and how do we go about making those corrections? Meanwhile, Mayor Deese is hoping any future name change will be permanent. Change it right away. I mean, put a conscious effort to change it, and not so that 20 years from now, we're not revisiting the same thing. A lot of other people here in Union County feel the same way. We learned late today that conversations are underway between the planning department along with federal and state agencies finding the best way to resolve it all. Mm -hmm. For now, we're live in Union County. Steve Krupp, WBTV, on your side. And an interesting side note, Steve, since 1982, the federal government has banned the use of that offensive term, Negro, on all official titles. An apology tonight over a racially charged creek name in Union County. This is a story we've been following for decades. That is when the name of what was once called Negro Head Creek was supposed to change to Salem Creek. But some state and federal agencies did not get the memo, apparently, and the old name showed up on a new map. Tonight, the Army Corps of Engineers sent us a statement. It says the Army Corps of Engineers regrets the reference to Salem Creek by its former name in the Monroe Connector Bypass Project. WBTV's Steve Crump on your side, live in Union County tonight. So, Steve, this apology is a direct result of your story. Well, Maureen, I can tell you we were alerted by the Union County Planning Office several weeks ago regarding this particular matter, and we started asking questions. The Army Corps of Engineers, the first to respond regarding a place that has brought a lot of pain. These waters are generally calm, but anxiety comes over a lengthy government-printed paper trail from state and federal agencies that carry the past name of the tributary that's regarded as offensive. This thing should have been changed uh, a long, long time ago. Add the name of State Representative Kelly Alexander Jr. to the list of North Carolina lawmakers who want to know why official documents 27 years later do not reflect the name change from Negro Head Creek to Salem Creek. It needs to be corrected. Corrections are in the works by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to its online documents, and Marshville Mayor Franklin Deese says this is a beginning that needs to go further. It's a start. It's long overdue, but 
uh, to see that they have at least acknowledged and apologized that they missed it on those maps. It shows that they know it's wrong. Despite scores of references from at least a half dozen agencies, the question is who will respond next? I'm going to uh, be in touch with uh, DOT and uh, ask them to follow up and actually make all of the necessary changes on state uh, reference maps. Well, we did get a response from the North Carolina Department of Transportation who said that they are looking into this matter, but still, some 27 years later, it remains a frustrating issue. Live tonight from the Union County Courthouse, Steve Krupp, WBTV, on your side. All right, Steve, and we also contacted other federal agencies, including the EPA and other state agencies, but so far they have not responded.